Hello, everybody. This is Ray Route, and welcome to the Patriots News Desk brought to you by Dear Pats Nation. And it was not a good day at training camp for the New England Patriots today. Three Patriots in prominent roles for the Patriots left with injuries. Long snapper Joe Cardona, center David Andrews, and tight end Hunter Henry. So which injury is more costly to the New England Patriots? And that's actually a very difficult decision to make because all three have prominent roles with the Patriots. When you think about Joe Cardona, he's one of the key pieces to the special teams. He's the one who has to be in sync on punts and on field goals. We've seen other teams struggle in the past. Cardona has been absolutely consistent for New England, and we all know that the Patriots respect and demand perfection out of their kicking game, so Cardona being out is an absolute issue. Hunter Henry is probably the least concerning, even though it's a big concern in the impact that he can make. But the Patriots have depth at the tight end position. They still have, obviously, Jonu Smith, who can easily step in as the tight end number one. And then it comes down to Devin Asiasi and Matt Lacoste to step into the number two. Lots of people are hoping that Asiasi, who's now returned from the COVID list, is able to continue with the success that he had in minicamp and try to take a big leap in his second year. And, of course, Matt Lacoste, who took a year off last year, who's familiar with the Patriots, Patriots offense could be a contributor as well. Dalton Keene, the other tight end, is out for the season with an injury. So when you think about who can replace there, I think math, I think people would prefer Devin Asiasi, but it could be Matt Lacoste. The good news is, is that Jonu Smith can be that number one, which can take pressure off the other tight end and can still keep them open. But obviously the combination of Hunter Henry and Jonu Smith would be key as you move into this season. David Andrews is very concerning. The Patriots offensive line depth is probably as thin as anybody else's in the NFL, but they could almost afford to lose a player at any position outside of the center position. Ted Karras, of course, is a viable backup if David Andrews' injury is career or life threat or season threatening or even long term. But Karras is also out with an injury. So Fournette stepped in at the center position today. Uh, hopefully we'll get good news from from David Andrews and he'll be able to step in, but he's obviously a key piece of the Patriots' offensive line. Hey, if you're new to the Dear Pats Nation news desk, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button as we move forward. So is the offensive line depth a concern? It wasn't a concern for a lot of people, myself included, until David Andrews went out today. That was the one position we really didn't want to lose when they lost, when the Patriots lost him in 2019. Ted Karras did a fine job filling in at the center position and really could have been the starting center for the Patriots this season. But when he gets taken out, that leaves the interior line a little bit vulnerable in case another guard were to be injured. David Andrews is one of the most consistent players on the Patriots. He missed all of the 2019 season with blood clots on his lungs and was, did serve some injury last year. Obviously, with the loss to Joe Tooney in free agency signing with the Kansas City Chiefs, the Patriots have a lot of room to make up in the offensive line depth position, especially the interior spots. And again, who will replace Hunter Henry? We discussed that at the top. It could be Devin Asiasi or Matt Lacoste, but that's going to put a lot of the emphasis onto Jonu Smith if Hunter Henry's shoulder injury turns out to be serious. Uh, this was one of the risks that you take by signing Hunter Henry. He was injury prone coming into this season. He has never played a full season in the NFL since he's been drafted. Hopefully he'll be able to come back and play. Again, having Smith is a big luxury that the Patriots have at this moment. However, Devin Asiasi or Matt Lacoste are going to have to step in because you have to assume that the Patriots offense was going to go through the running backs and the tight ends. Of course, Nelson Aguilar was absent from today's practice because of injury, which puts another kink into the Patriots offensive plans as the Patriots are getting prepared to play Washington on Thursday. This is a little concerning if you are Bill Belichick and Patriot fans, but injuries are a part of football. And now it's time for the Patriots to say next man up. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to the Patriots. Patriots News Desk here on YouTube or Newsbreak. We will be back as soon as there's more Patriots news to report.